In this video, we will learn how to scale your Redis cluster vertically using KubeDB. So let's move to my workstation. So here I have already uh, deployed a database. Redis, the name is Redis cluster and version is 6.2.5. The database is in Redis state so that we have uh, successfully provisioned a database. And here you can see we have a uh, total six parts and three shards in each shard. There is two parts. One is master and another is replica. So uh, <clears throat> to scale up vertical means you need to, you want to add more resource to your ports. So let's just check how much resource we have in the ports. So as you can see uh, in the request, we have um, the memory is 100 megabyte and CPU is 100 millicore. So uh, each of our pod will have access to initially given 100 megabit memory and uh, 100 millicore CPU. So if we want to update this, we need to vertically scale this database. So uh, let's apply a, apply the YAML to update this cluster. And here you can see I have uh, already installed KubeDB provisioner and KubeDB ops manager. So this uh, scaling will be done by this KubeDB Ops Manager operator, which is our uh, enterprise operator. So let's deploy the YAML. Now you can see this vertical scaling. Uh, there is a Redis Ops request created. The name is vertical scaling, and uh, it is in progressing state. And uh, so as you can see, one of the pod is terminating. So all the pods will be restarted to reflect this vertical scaling changes. So let's look at the vertical scaling YAML. Okay, so uh, here you can see uh, in the uh, of API version is ops.cubedb.com slash v1 alpha one kind is Redis ops request in the metadata section we have our name and namespace. So the name of the ops request is vertical scaling and namespace is demo. So the namespace should be uh, the name of the ops request namespace of the ops request should be same as the namespace of the database and the spec in you can see in the spec the type is vertical scaling. And we have a database reference so database reference is risk cluster so I want to do the changes in this uh, database object in the vertical scaling field, you can see we have first container name which is Redis and after that the request. Uh, the new request. So uh, we are requesting for uh, 200 megabyte memory and 200 millicore CPU for uh, each container. So you can update, uh, you, if you have different container, you can specify different containers and update the resources for them. So here uh, the Redis is the main container for our database. We are updating the uh, resources for the main container. So let's have a look how it is progressing. As you can see, the database uh, strategy is still uh, progressing and uh, that ports are restarting. So what happens is uh, first we uh, patch the stateful sets and then we restart the ports to reflect the changes. After the restart process is successful, we patch the DB object. So let's have a look at the stateful sets. Yeah, so as you can see, we have uh, three stateful sets. So for, uh, in each there each stateful set represents one shard. So what uh, first we updated these stateful sets. So let's have a look at the YAML of these stateful set. Yeah. So in the stateful set, uh, we ha have a section. Uh, template and in the template section we have a spec and in the spec section we have uh, containers so all the containers info are here and here you can see we have uh, we have a section named resources in the resources the request so the request is already updated uh, so previously there was 100 milligrams cpu and 100 megabyte memory now it is updated to 200 megabyte memory and uh, 200 milligrams cpu so the stateful set, the spec of the stateful set is updated and uh, the pod will be updated as they are restarted. So as uh, you can see, this pod that is cluster shard 00, it is already restarted as you can see from the edge. And now let's have a look at the YAML of this pod.
Okay, so in this, uh, we have uh, spec and in the spec section, we have containers. So all the information about the containers and here you can see we have a resource section. This resource section is already updated. So this pod is up to date. It is now have 200 megabit memory and 200 millicore CPU. Now, uh, if, if you have a look at this uh, Redis cluster object, so let's look at the YAML of this Redis cluster object. In the specs section, we have a uh, pod template and there we have the resource section. You, you can see that uh, as this vertical scaling is successful, after that, this request is updated. So it is 200 megabyte memory and 200 millicore CPU. So as you can see, we have successfully updated our uh, container, Redis container of all the ports. Now, uh, this vertical scaling is successful. Our database is ready to perform the database operation. So in this way, you can uh, update the resources for your containers when you need them. And uh, with that, uh, in the next video, we'll learn about how to uh, change your custom configuration or change the Redis specific configuration of your cluster uh, using kubedb ops request. And uh, thank you for watching.